Hey there, CUSA family. It's me, Cody, the marketing coordinator here at CUSA, coming to you with episode nine of our vlog. This week, I want to kind of take a moment, and as the holiday seasons are approaching, guys, the air just feels lighter, and it just feels like the most wonderful time of the year, because let's face it, it's the most wonderful time of the year. We have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, um, we have all these holidays, New Year's, and all this family time, and all this food that's coming up. I have been getting my, my mouth set for Thanksgiving dinner for quite a while. Um, you will see me at my wife's family's house with a turkey leg in my hand. I call dibs on turkey legs every year, and they know that one of them turkey legs is mine, and I don't play games. So it is just a great time of the year, but also in a lot of ways, the holiday season has a special way of being wonderful and at the same time, stressful and expensive. So I wanna give you some practical steps. I just think it would be an interesting topic to, to really go into as we enter into the season. I wanna give you some practical steps of just how to prepare and how to be ready for the holiday season and how to not break the bank while we are trying to give gifts to the people that we love. Well, the first thing I wanna to talk to you about, and I'm gonna be kind of hallmarky for a moment. I'm gonna channel my inner Lori Laughlin, uh, and <laughs> we're gonna talk about heartfelt gifts that aren't necessarily expensive. You know, one of the coolest things when, when I was growing up, and it, it's memories that are just kind of forever embedded because we took the time and did this, is we had this lady and her name was Momo Rock. And she wasn't really my Momo, but she was everybody's Momo. So she was Momo Rock. And what we would do is we'd all gather together at her house and she would make this batter and we would make peanut butter cookies. And super inexpensive, but those memories will be there forever. And so it's a really cool thing because when you start making gifts like this that are heartfelt, it does two things. For one, it creates family time. Guys, we are in an age where uh, Facebook and Twitter and uh, social media in general, iPads, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and sometimes we can begin to lose the family element. And so we just buy a gift for you, buy a gift for you, buy a gift for you. And we kind of really lose, in my opinion, the meaning of the holiday season. And so the heartfelt gift is a great way to really create some memories with your family. It's cost effective because you can go to a wholesale store like Costco or Sam's and you can buy the ingredients in bulk and you can have a night where you and your kids, your family get together and you make the caramel popcorn or you make pralines. Ah, y'all make some pralines in this area. You'll have a friend for life. And you make little baskets and give those as gifts to the people you love. And this is Louisiana. We all eat. That's all we know to do is eat, especially at the holiday times. You bring me a bucket of candy at Christmas, we gonna be Gucci. Heartfelt gifts. And then not only that, but I know that you took time. You thought about me. That's incredible. You thought about me. So I'm, I'm on cloud nine because I know you didn't just buy me something cheap off of a shelf, but you spent time thinking about me. Not only that, but you and your family had a bonding experience. You had a fun night. Some of the most fun nights are those nights with your family. It's a wonderful way. It's a cost-effective way. And it's a way to show that you care in a deeper way than just picking up something off of a Walmart shelf. Second thing is planning ahead. So when I was growing up, my aunt would go to Walmart the day after. When I'm talking about December 26th, she was first in line at Walmart because she was buying up all the gift sets because they was marked down. And she would say, well, it's for Christmas. And I'm like, well, you're kind of late. That was yesterday. Santa Claus done back to the North Pole. But she said, no, it's for Christmas next year. And I thought it was crazy at the time. But then I would see as things would come on sale throughout the year, she would think, oh, they would like that for Christmas and it's on sale. Um, my, my wife's aunt, 
She would go Bath and Body Works when those lotions and those candles go on sale. Ooh, they would like this. And she buys it and they store it up. That way it's not at the end of the year, all of a sudden I gotta go drop a bunch of money. It's I've been consistently doing this through the year as things are on sale. So I'm being cost effective, I'm not rushing. And I'm thinking about people throughout the year. It's a very great way to get good gifts at very good prices. And guys, the last thing I wanna talk about is Last week, I was wearing a purple Lucky Lineup shirt, and we've discussed the Lucky Lineup savings here on the vlog before. I want to take a really quick moment and just kind of reiterate the fact that the Lucky Lineup account is a great way to prepare for the holiday season. Uh, other credit unions and other financial institutions oftentimes have accounts called club accounts, and you can have a vacation club, a Christmas club. Um, it was different types of accounts, and the way they work is you open this account and at a set time, the funds are released to you. So with a club account, maybe October, the funds will be set to be released. So all year long, you stash this money and you can't touch it until it's time. So you've saved up and you're not reaching for credit cards. It's a great thing. It's a great way to do it. So here at CUSA, we have the Lucky Lineup account, which is our prize link savings account. So every $20 you put in, you get a chance to win with a maximum of five entries a month. And so every month we have drawings where you could win a hundred, every quarter we have a thousand dollars, and then every year we have one lucky winner that wins 5,000. And guys, I can tell you, I run the reports on the Lucky Lineup accounts each month. Our members win a hundred dollars all the time. We have our members left and right. I'm calling, hey, congratulations, you won a hundred dollars. We even had one member win the thousand dollar drawing. And she was ecstatic. Imagine you have an account that you're saving up for Christmas to give your family a great Christmas and you get a phone call saying you just want a bonus thousand dollars. It's incredible. So the thing to do with that is it, the Lucky Lineup account is a one year account. So if you open it up around say October or around November, then it works like a club account. You can make that a Christmas club where that money stays there until the one year is over and then in one year, we release that to you and you're ready to shop. You're ready to give a great Christmas. It's, it's an incredible way to do it, an incredible account. And I'm telling you, it's something that you really want to get into. But guys, that's really the content for this week. We talked about the Lucky Lineup account. We talked about giving heartfelt gifts and we talked about buying ahead. And so I hope that some of this has maybe sparked an idea in you of how you want to handle the holidays. And I want to open up the comment sections. Y'all really get in those comments. Let me know what do you do? What are some cool things that you do with your family that maybe uh, that are great ideas that you could pass on that are cost effective? Because guys, it's all about being cost effective. I'm going to just tell you with everything going on, we want to be smart with our money. We want to show people that we care. But we, again, the mindset has to change. It's not because I dropped a whole bunch that I care. It's because I thought about you. It's because I took time to give you this. I care about you. We commercialize it way too much. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Real quick though, before I dip out of here, uh, we talked about last week, we had the uh, International Credit Union Day uh, contest where our members sent in different reviews and stuff that they like about the credit union. And so we announced the winner last week uh, but I want to read another one to you before we dip out this week and just kind of shed a little bit of light. I thought this was a great review and I want you to see it. This one comes from Miss Anna and she said, what makes CUSA special to me is their individual attention to each member. Anytime I call my CUSA friends at my local office, they respond to me promptly. I've emailed Kamiko Duncan many, many times with a loan and account questions, and she always provides the absolute best customer service. It is a pleasure working with the CUSA employees. Anna, thank you so much for that kind review. Thank you so much for the kind words. Kamiko Duncan, everybody knows you're a stinking rock star. Keep up what you do. Nobody does it the way you do. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's the episode for this week. Uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what you want to see next. Like this, share this with your friends. Share this one because guys, it is a great way to really take the stress off the holiday season and we all need less stress. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to see you next week.